Twin City Fan's mission in acoustics is to design the quietest products in the industry. To accomplish that, we have one of the most sophisticated sound testing laboratories in the world. Our laboratory is qualified for both broadband and discrete frequency or pure tones. Very few laboratories in the world have this distinction. And the reason why this was done is to meet accuracy in our sound ratings. We also have sophisticated instrumentation to acquire the necessary data to establish the performance and reliability of our products. We use the reverberant room method to determine the sound power level of our fan. This method utilizes a small fan called a reference sound source for which the sound power is calibrated. Once the sound power level of a fan has been established, we know that that is the level of energy that is being radiated by the fan. It is very analogous to a light bulb. When you have a light bulb, it tells you what the watts of the light bulb is. But when you put that same light bulb in a dark or in a bright environment, the eye perceives it differently. Similarly, when you have sound, you get the sound power, which is a watts type measurement. And then what the human ear hears is sound pressure, which is the perception of the sound power that is being radiated. So the testing that we do in the Swin City Fan Laboratory established the true sound power, just like how light power is established in watts. So once you determine the sound power level of a test fan, we take it and we post-process the data in our engineering tools, which we use to bring in multiple tests into that tool so that we can do further post-processing and analysis that is required to see, okay, what are the frequencies at which the sound level is high? In fans, there are two types of sound sources. One is broadband and the other is tonal. Broadband is a noise like shh, and tones is a noise like <whistles> So the combination of a tone and broadband is what the fan produces. At the end of the day, when we look at the sound spectrum in our sound graph tool, we want to make sure that the levels are low. And we can do synthesis of the frequencies to simulate the response of a human ear. That is called A weighting. So the key number that we look for is the A weighted sound spectra, which will generally tell us the idea of the sound quality of a fan. So as you can see, regardless of where the testing is done, be it the laboratory, be it the manufacturing facility, or be it in the field, in our actual customer's application, Twin City Fan stands by the data because we are very confident that the reliability of our products are second to nothing.